as you look into these incidents, things transpire at a certain rate. So everybody's in the morning state, state right now. It's going to go through several phases. The City of El Paso's Office of Emergency Management team working on the long-term recovery for those affected by the mass shooting by planning on opening a resiliency center. That resiliency center sends, uh, signals that, that long-term effort that changing from the immediate needs of like I talked about earlier about getting them their driver's license or vehicles or belongings back to the to the victims and their families it's the longer needs what how's it going to affect mental health across our community across our first responders store employees anyone who is there on that site so it's that transition the resiliency center will have four main focuses the first making sure that we have that link and that connection not only for first responders, but they're in public at large to make sure they have the services they need. Also, establishing a recovery organization, managing relief efforts, pursuing funding sources to better prepare for this in the future, and incorporating lessons learned. OEM also receiving help from outside communities such as the Henderson, Las Vegas area and Orlando, who previously experienced similar tragedies and open resiliency centers. So this resiliency center plan, it, it, it's, gonna rep, it's gonna look a lot like they've done in the past because we're taking all that input. And it, what's, what's even better is they're giving us their gaps. What did they miss when they first did it? So we're taking that account and we're trying to make sure we have all that covered for our community.